I woke that morning, however, alone. I slowly sat up, feeling the feeling pillows beneath my head, and Diana nowhere to be found. Oh shit! Well, we're already locked on the bad ending, so might as well continue. Name's Rena Jagnell, and welcome back to Seduce Me to the Demon War. You guys thought I wouldn't come back. Well, I came back. Only for the sole reason that we will be doing Diana's bad ending. A couple of you said you wanted me to do Diana's bad ending, and I was like, okay, why not? I'm kind of curious to know what happens in the bad ending. Um, the other incubi with the bad endings. Um, I don't know if you want me to do them. Personally, I do not want to do the bad endings because my heart will cry. But if you want me to do the boys' bad ending, please comment below. Please tell me which one. If you want all boys' bad endings, like all of them possibly, I will try and do that. If you want a specific boy bad ending, a specific bad ending for the boys, then please do tell me. <sighs> it's going to be nerve-wracking, but if you guys want me to do it, then I'll do it. For now, I will skip up to the choices we make for Diana's ending. Sounds gonna be different. So with that, let us start and I will get right back to you. Okay, we're gonna be mean people to Saro. Apparently so. Yep, we're gonna be mean people to Saro. Uh, ahem. Excuse me, Saro, but I think you're hugging my succubus. Thank you. Ahem. Not that I was against Diana getting energy, but Saro seemed to be extremely cozy with her, and being that she was someone who I potentially wished to be closer with, this was now an obstacle I had to slowly break Diana away from. Ahem, <coughs> excuse me, I am right here. Diana and Saro both looked up to me, with Saro lifting his head from Diana's hand. At least it worked. Realizing what was going on, Diana looked to Saro and smiled nervously before pulling her hand away from him. Thank you, Sarah. Yo. Sarah, however, stared at me, most likely knowing why I did what I had done. Another flash of disgust flashes in his eyes before he looked to Diana and bowed his head. Sorry, Sarah. I'm gonna be mean to you. I am forever here to serve. <laughs> the way he said it, he's just like... He's saying it and he's looking at me with ill intent like, I'm going to fucking kill you, you fucking bitch. Sorry, and... More skipping, whoop de doo I'm going to do every bad choice as possible just to get this ending. I feel like a bi total bitch. Okay, instead of kissing her, we're gonna hug her closer. I hugged her to me, trying to give her energy through my body. However, as I tried, Sarah pulled Diana away from me and lifted her head to kiss her. As her lips locked, Diana's hands unconsciously moved and cupped Sarah's cheeks. Shit! Um... <laughs> um, 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 I'm so sorry, Sarah. I got, I gotta be mean. I gotta be a bitch to you. I didn't trust Sarah one bit, and I didn't want him kissing Diana, even if he was doing it to give her energy. I grabbed Diana and pulled her back to me, wrapping my arms around her and glaring at Sarah hard. What? 
I can give her energy just fine. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Oh my god, this is hurt. This hurts. This really, really, really hurts. You have no idea. <laughs> Whoops. I could feel the poisonous tone in my voice slither into each word I said to Sarah. However, as I finished speaking, and as I looked in Sarah's eyes, switched from surprise to anger, Diana began to stir in my arms. Diana? Diana slowly opened her eyes and looked up to me, dazed but still growing a small smile on her face. Diana slowly lifted herself up onto her feet. Instinctively, Sarah and I both grabbed onto Diana's arms, helping her up. She looked to both of us with a kind smile. Thank you. You're welcome. I couldn't tell which one of us she was thanking, but I accepted it with a smile of my own. You did it, Diana. You drove him back. And once more, I'm gonna skip to more choices. She loves me, Sarah. She loves me, not you, me. Okay, so so back the fuck up, cause she's mine. I could feel Sarah's gaze on me become stone cold. I didn't care. I love Diana, and I didn't want him to have her. Not after the things I had seen in my dreams. You said it, girl. I continued to watch Diana. She already made her choice. You should respect that and leave her alone. Ooh. <laughs> I feel so mean right now. I was given silence at Sarah's reply. However, I could feel the air change from warm and comfortable to cold and almost frightening. I didn't care. I would win this. Diana's dance continued into the night surprising me. She had this much stamina? Despite watching her, she didn't stop to break once, most likely expending energy to keep moving. How long did the dance have to go for? As the torchlights illuminated the space and the moon was at the top of the sky, Diana finally stopped, panting hard and clashing the sabers together to cause a ring of steel to bounce through the air. The audience clapped wildly, many deeply captivated enough to stay the entire time as some joined in during the hours of the ri the later hours of the ritual. The brute, who I decided to dub as Sergeant, stepped from the crowd into the ritual space and walked towards Diana, letting the sabers vanish into the air. Diana looked to the one approaching her with a tired stare. Silence lingered between them and Sarge as Sergeant held out his arm to Diana. With a smile, Diana reached out and collapsed her arm onto his forearm. Honorimus dirigendo pedes. Victoria in consumatione. Another round of cheers echoed through the air as the words exchanged between them. I smiled, knowing that Diana had appeased Sergeant and his people. Diana released her hold on his hand and nodded to him before looking towards me and ushering me to her. To her. I quickly rushed over as she lifted her arm and placed it along my shoulders tiredly. Diana? I need a little help. <laughs> well, I'm here to help. I could feel Cyril's gaze on my back. Would he step in and fight me doing as she asked? I looked back to see him hold- Oh shit. <laughs> I looked back to see him holding back a glare. His eyes flashed a soft white, revealing the crosses in his black irises as he simmered in his spot. Ah, we've anchored the angel demon. With a laugh to Diana, I led her back to my room, uh, with, where she sat tiredly over the bed as the exhaustion in her face it was clear and her body quaked from wherever exerting her, itself. And I'm gonna skip more. I don't care about them. It was true. I didn't care what they said about me. I was here for Diana, not for them. Diana stared at me for the longest time before smiling a bit and nodding. Right. We went to bed that night, knowing that the days ahead would resume to be full of work, struggle, and the need to be strong for each other. I woke that morning, however, alone. I slowly sat up, feeling, the, feeling pillows beneath my head, and Diana nowhere to be found. Oh shit! Well, we're already locked on the bad ending, so might as well continue. Hmm, Diana? I looked around, confused and lost. Where did she go? She wouldn't have left the room without waking me up. Is there? I called out her real name, hoping she would appear at the sound of her true name. Still, nothing happened and I was still alone. The stone in my gut suddenly pulsed, sending a wave of worry through my body. Something was wrong. I quickly jumped out of bed got dressed, and rushed to the war room in a panic. Maybe she was there, doing a meeting without me. Maybe I had overslept. Diana? Inside, however, were the demon rebel leaders and Sarah, all with equally worried faces. 
She's not with you? Ah! No, I'm looking at this arrow because he's behind this shit. He's behind this shit! Eyes darted around the room, seeing no succubus in sight. I walked in, shaking my head at Rabbit's question, causing the people in the room to grow even more concerned faces. This is all Sarah's doing! This is a problem. No shit! Where is she? My eyes instantly went to Saro, seeing him panic. His eyes darted back and forth on the table, his expression pained and utter painted and under fear. Suddenly, he began to storm out of the room. I must find her! That's a lie! You're keeping her! Before anyone could stop him, he ran out of the room. Um, let me say first. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to save here. Forge. I am going to join him. He wasn't the only one concerned about Di where Diana, wa Diana was. I rushed out after him, seeing him dart off down the hall. Follow him. I was suspicious of Sarah. Something about how he was going about this caused red flags to wave through my mind. Was he hiding her like in my dream? As I expected, Sarah stopped walking and opened a small passage hidden behind a large painting. Where was he going? I followed, determined to find Diana. I pushed the painting aside and wiggled into the passageway, becoming engulfed in darkness as the painting on its own closed behind me. It took every ounce of my self-control to keep quiet and not gasp in surprise. As I, I placed my hands on the walls and followed it forward, trying to remain quiet. As I reached the end, I found Sarah kneeling in the middle of a pitch black room. I didn't understand how he was illuminated in the dark, but I watched as he lowered his head and prayed. Please forgive me for what I must do. Look away for this one moment, for I work in the name and peace of the five worlds. I shall bear my sins to death and into purgatory for all of eternity. What? I felt like running, rushing back out of the passage. Something was dark about this entire situation and the prayer Sarah muttered barely made sense. Why was he doing this? Ah, shit! I didn't get a chance to run as Sarah looked, suddenly looked back at me, mucking eyes with me and freezing me in place. His eyes were glowing a pure golden color as, a vo as large black crosses embedded themselves at his, as his irises. My body was unable to move. I couldn't even breathe. I struggled against the hold on me, but, but, but found no avail. Sarah pointed his hand to me and willed my body forward into the dark space. S with a dark smile, Sarah licked his lips and stood up, standing tall before me. As he stared down at me, I could feel the judgment and hatred in his eyes pierce into my soul, like I was lowly being not worthy of the breath I was being denied. Come here, human child. Oh, shit. I became both fearful and confused. What was happening? I could barely concentrate as the lack of air in my lungs caused the room around me to spin. My body quaked against Sarah's hold, but he continued to walk me forward or towards him. As I came within arm's reach, Sarah gently wrapped his hand around my throat and lifted me up. No! I could barely feel his grasp, nor could I feel it all about, still, cause, still caught in his spell. I could only let him move me further into the darkness, pressing me completely against a wall. Sarah lifted one of my arms to the side of me, stretching it out and pressing my hand back against the wall. On its own, it remained. As Sarah did the same to my other arm, I was completely open, as if I was laid against, against a cross. However, there was nothing holy about this. My vision began to darken as I suffocated my body. As I suffocated, my body desperately clawing for air. As Sarah allowed air to fill my lungs, I gagged and coughed violently. Ugh! Sarah, why are you doing? What are you doing to me? My voice was breathless, pain from being denied air. However, my body remained still in place, glued to the wall behind me. <laughs> Sarah only smirked at me, holding his arms out. With a hideous laugh, Sarah observed me from my place on the invisible cross he had placed me on. Rejoice, human. You are about to become part of something much grander than you could have ever imagined. Well, shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs>
Let him, yeah, let him enjoy his laugh. Sarah laughed, arching back to the cackle at the ceiling. As he looked back to me, I could see the jealous monster behind his frightening eyes. You have no place here, human. You should be grateful that I am granting you a purpose, a gift from heaven above. Fuck you two! Is there? I called out, desperate to stop Sarah at all costs. However, as it didn't work before, Di Diana didn't appear. Sarah smirked even wider and stepped up to me, looking with the most maddened eyes I had ever seen. You are unworthy of speaking her name. Ah! I snarled, pulling at my limbs to try and move. Alas, I could do nothing. Sarah stepped back and summoned his spear, dancing her hand over it and examining it in his grasp. Whatever delusions you had of being with her will fade away as you pass on. So that's it. You're gonna kill me. I'll haunt you for the rest of your life! I was frightful, but my anger masked my fear. I didn't want to die, but I wasn't going to cry in front of the psychopath wanting to take my life. Hasar looked up at me again. He chuckled darkly. You won't be able to haunt me from within Heaven's gates. Ah! What? That's right. I plan to baptize you, cleansing you of all of your sins before I trade your life for a promise from Heaven's most powerful angels. You will be bathed in light and will forever live in the city of Heaven. Isn't that such a wonderful gift? No, it's not. Sarah sounds so insane. I'm just gonna like... I'm sorry, Cyril! I had to do this! I tried to find some sort of weakness in Cyril. As I stared into his eyes, I figured out what the hell he was. You're... an angel? Cyril grimaced at the word. Excuse me. Cyril grimaced at the word, shaking his head. Half. I am what angels call a tainted Nephilim. One who is born both by the light of heaven and of the taint of magic. I was dropped into this world after being born, and I was cursed to never return. I stared, unbelieving what I was hearing. However, Saros Settle smiled an almost innocent smile as his gaze softened. He was a little bit like Matthew, like when he was insane in our dream, and then he just looked at us with that little innocent smile, and then she, and then he just went, she's not just a toy. And then you're just like, I see the monster behind you. Yeah. However... I was blessed enough to be found by Isaiah's father and mother. They took me in, and when I started to walk, they introduced me to their daughter, my lady Isaiah. I have been by her side ever since, but when I was old enough to know of love, her family realized what I was. Seto ran his fingers across his chest, over the large scar that decorated his skin. I was tortured by the king's men was chained in the lowest cell of the dungeon. I was there for God knows how long until Isaiah found me and demanded I be released to her. She saved me from a fate worse than death. Oh, so that's what happened to Settle. Aw. Settle looked at his hand, shaking as, shaking as a grace smile painted itself across Sarah's cheeks. She is my goddess, my savior. My purity. She took pity on a being like me, and even showed me how to truly love. I was blessed to feel her lips on mine, her hands across my skin, the warmth of her innocence. Oh jeez, um, okay, this kind of creepy now. My stomach began to churn, disgusted by Cyril's filthy expression. As he looked up at me, he suddenly glared hard. Then you came and demanded that she be yours. You dared to claim her when she is not yours to take. Fuck you too. I love Diana. She loves me. Again, I'm sorry. Fear suddenly took control of my core. It was true. I had tried to take her as my own, pushing Seto violently away. Was this my just my... Oh. Was this my just desserts? No, it couldn't have been. I loved her and wanted to protect her. Cyril spit on the ground, laughing quietly. Well, as her honored protector and lover, I will permanently remove that little delusion of yours. You will no longer have the chance to take her away or be with her ever again. No! Cyril was insane. He bared his teeth in a wild smile as he set his spear beside him. 
You will be in heaven, and Isaiah will rule over the demon world as its true queen until she dies. When that time comes, we will go together to purgatory and live within its eternal realm in peace. You're a monster! A monster I may be, but I will happily bear that sin if I can protect her from you. Excuse me! I've been treating her nice and well unlike you. Just took her away from me. Suddenly, Sarah twirled his spear around and rammed it into my stomach, causing me to choke out a cry of pain. My body shook from the intense pain as blood dribbled from the wound down Sarah's spear. I cleanse you of your sins. May heaven embrace your spirit and welcome you into its white city. Ah, oh, shit. <clears throat> the soft feeling of feathers danced over my skin, and I could feel my mind become quickly blank. All of the memories I had suddenly began to burn away. My friends, my family, the demon world, everything was being dissolved into nothing. My vision became dark as the pain ripped through my body. The spear remained within my body, draining me of life. Before I finally embraced death, I could hear Saro speak one last phrase. It is finished. My sweet, beautiful Isaiah. While I would hold you in my arms forever, your people need you. Well, shit. But I wish to stay with you longer. We cannot stay long. But if you insist... I do. As you wish, my queen. Ah, uh, and repent for your sins. Ah, uh, well. Okay. Okay. Achievement unlock, repent for your sins. Oh my god, that was horrible. That was horrible. Horrible. I feel so bad for Sarah, though. Truly, I do. I really do. I, I, I am like a hashtag Cyana shipper. I'm like hashtag Cyana. So, this was kind of heart-wrenching for me to do. Oh, well, I got past it. I did it for you guys. I was also curious, too, so. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Eh, eh. Uh, sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. As I said in my last video, there is a poll in the description below. Go ahead if you haven't looked and voted yet. I won't tell you what it is though, cause I you prob most of you probably already know what it is anyway. But still, just go to that poll, vote, and I'll come back to it next week. When I upload another another video, and again, if you want me to, if you want me to do all of the boys' bad endings, like all the bad endings that they have to offer, then please tell me in the comments below for the boys. If you want a specific bad ending for the boys, like for a specific bad ending for one boy, like I'm I'm trying to make sense here, like not just all the bad endings for the boys but like just one particular ending that you want to see for one of the boys just tell me in the comments below and i guess i'll do it like if i get enough comments then i guess i'll do the bad endings no matter how much painful it is um anyways with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys like to see more of my videos then click subscribe anyways i'll see you guys in the next video bye